Dude, let's go. Dude, sit down. Both of you have after school detention. But why? 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 Are you guys tell us why we're in here? Yes, yeah, because you guys have tardies for every class you go to. No. No. Yes, you guys do. That you're tardy to math class. You're tardy to language arts. No, that's I'm always early to every no, class. No. No. Yes. Not even. See, Yasmin. Stop talking. <laughs> you guys are tired. You guys gonna have to after school detention now. Why now? Because you guys got tardies. Are you serious? Yes. See, that's what happens to us for being late. It was short. Okay. I'll wait a minute. Hello, Swigert. Wel welcome to Counseling Corner. My name is Miss Smith. Hi, guys. I'm Mrs. Shimas, one of the counselors. Good morning. I'm Miss Stone. So today, I would just like to start by mentioning that the counselors have been talking to community members or what we call community partners here within the neighborhood that maybe own local businesses or uh, might be involved with a church. That's the basic definition of a community partner. And what is actually happening within our Jack Swigert community and even some of the community near Mitchell is that they're looking at maybe improving it and making some renovations and adding interesting facilities or programs. Since we work here at a school and a lot of our students live within the community, any kind of input that you might have on what you would like to see here in your neighborhood outside of Jack Swigert, we would be interested in knowing. So if you ever have an idea, like maybe during the summer, you would like to learn how to cook because um, maybe you get tired of always going to McDonald's, believe it or not. I think people do get tired of going to McDonald's every day and you would like to know how to cook maybe something different. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we can find a place within the community to offer a cooking class or maybe a sewing class or anything that you might be interested in we would like to know about. So feel free to stop by my office or Ms. Shimus or Ms. Stone. We're all here and available willing to listen to your input. Another thing that we wanted to bring up was during the holidays, times can get really stressful, especially financially for some families. And we don't want you guys as students to think that's something that you have to deal with alone. So we just wanted to put out there that in the absence of our community liaison, to feel free to come talk to any of us and we can try to connect you with some resources that could probably help your family out during the stressful holiday times financially. And on that same theme of stress, the holidays can be stressful emotionally, financially, physically, in all different ways. And just being an adolescent is stressful. So the counseling department is gonna be working on some mindfulness type activities that we'll be sharing with you throughout next semester. But one that can kind of help you, um, that you can use today, it is called alternate breathing, or in Sanskrit, Analoma Valoma. Yeah! Woohoo, I got it. <laughs> and in order to do that, you're going to be taking breaths in and breaths out. So you're going to sit up straight, okay? Let's practice a couple deep breaths real quick um, before we start with the hand mudra. Breathe in. Breathe out. Do one more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay. Return to normal breathing. Now, to start the alternate nostril breathing, you will do your hand mudra, Vishnu. You're going to hold your right hand up. You're going to put your pointer and your middle finger down in the middle part of your hand. Okay. You're going to be using your thumb to block off your right nostril. And then you will alternate that with the ring finger that's going to block off the left nostril, but not at the same time. So you're going to put this um, over your nose. You're going to block off your right nostril with your thumb. You're going to breathe in for a count of five. Breathe in. One, two, three, 
four, five. Switch fingers, block off less. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale right, one, two, three, four, five. Switch fingers, exhale left, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale left, one, two, three, four, five. Switch, exhale right, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale right, one, inhale right, one, two, three, four, five. Switch fingers, exhale left, one, two, three, four, five. Remove your hand, return to normal breathing, but you can do that for 30 minutes, 30 seconds to a minute. You could that would be very challenging, but you could, yes. <laughs> Probably not recommended initially, <laughs> yes, but yes. that is one technique that can help clear your mind and calm you down and help you through the stressful times. Yes. And also just come to your counselors and let us know what we can do to help you. Thank you. Make good decisions. Bye. Namaste. Namaste. The book fair is in December 15th through the 17th. Staff can wear holiday sweaters during the days of the fair. Our goal is $1,000. If we reach our goal, some of the staff men have a special surprise. The teachers of the, the teachers of the grade with the highest sales win a prize. Flyers will be given to six period teachers to be sent home Friday, December 11th. Let's beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. There is a beating club. Yes, beating intramurals on Tuesday, December 15th, <clears throat> 7 10 through 7 15 a.m. In, in the small gym. Ma make sure to sign up with Mr. Fuel, and the, and the only first 40 to sign up can attend. There's, it's free, and there's free gifts. So make, make wonderful. Hello Titans, uh, we've got some pretty cool things in sports happening uh, this year. We offer six sports. If you're interested, uh, make sure you have a physical from a doctor, it needs to be signed by a doctor, a physician, and then a blue card for emergency contact information. Every sport, it is mandatory you have those before participation. And then second semester after Christmas will be boys basketball right away. Then we're going to move into um, volleyball and boys track. Um, so those are the sports that we offer. If you need more information, please come by the office and see me. Uh, make sure that you are paying attention to the announcements and looking for information on the TV screens in the hallways. I put stuff up there as well. Um, have a good day. I'm